Hey y'all, it's Niki. Welcome back to my channel. So today I have another story time for y'all and it's going to be part two to the flute out story y'all. So before we get into the story, please like, comment, and share my channel. So let's get into the story time. So um, let's see, where did I leave off with Chris? So I remember I was checking Chris about old girl telling me how she told him I was just his friend. So yeah, Chris, he was just telling me after I was like, what did you tell her? And he gonna say, well, I mean, I didn't tell her we were just friends. All I said was I had some friends coming out here for All-Star Weekend. I'm like, do I look stupid to you? I know what the girl told me. And then like, why he gonna try to tell me that, oh yeah, she's trying to, you know, hunch on me, this, this, and that. But I'm like, okay, so is that why you told her we're just friends or is y'all really, you know, messing around? Like, what is it? But like I said in the last story time, I didn't really care because this was my last day I was going to be seeing Chris. After I got on the plane, I was never going to talk to him again. So it really didn't matter. He can go across the street and hump on old girl all day if he wanted to. That ain't had nothing to do with me at this point. So, okay. So remember how I said in the last story time, we were at Chris's mom's house waiting for his friends to come back because Chris's other best friend had stayed in the same area as his mom. So we were just waiting for them all to come back so we can hop in the car with them and then finish out our day. So we walked over to Chris's best friend's house. Um, I remember I gave him the name D. So yeah, we walked over to D's house, and D's the one who handed me the phone. We were at the the trap branch, and was like, "Yeah, Chris, he wants to talk to you." But yeah, so we walked over to his house, and we were just waiting for D and everybody to pull back up. We ended up walking over to D's house to wait for everybody because you know Chris and his mom can only be around each other for so long before they start arguing. So we walked over there and y'all, so D, he lived with his mom and his mom's girlfriend, okay? And Chris, I don't know, Chris made it seem like, okay, the mom and the girlfriend is real cool, but the, I think he said the girlfriend of the mom, she got a crush on him. So I'm like, okay, I don't know why he needs to tell me that, but okay. So y'all, we walk over there and I'm just irritated with Chris because of everything that has that has been going on. I'm over him. I don't want to be around him. I just want to finish out the day and get on my flight and go back home. So I don't even go in. I mean, I go in to introduce myself to these mom, but I come outside and I sit outside on the curb. I'm just on my phone. And then like, there's people outside, you know, like it's a, I guess we, we in the hood kind of like, you know, like people outside, like chilling, smoking. I'm just, you know, just chilling outside. I'm not even really worried about them, but I guess Chris, thought I was trying to be in people's face. He was in the house watching TV and then he keeps calling my name. He's like, you need to come in the house. It's people outside, you know, you don't need to be out there. And I'm thinking to myself like, boy, please, like you just probably worried about somebody snatching me from you, which will happen. So I go back in the house anyways, because at first I'm ignoring him, but he's making it seem like, I'm like, I'm just gonna go back in the house because I don't wanna have to slap the shit out of him in front of everybody, which I really will. But I went back in the house and we were just sitting on the couch, y'all. So we're sitting on the couch and then he was like, do you want to see the snake? I'm like, no, why do I want to see a snake? But he was just like, no, just come see it. You know, it's small. Just it's in the it's in the tank. Just come look at it. So I walk over and I look at the damn snake and he's just like, you want to touch it? No, I don't want to touch the snake. I just already told you I don't even want to look at it. Why does boy pull out the snake? He's holding the snake. He's like, here, just touch it, just touch it, just hold it. I'm like, no, like, are you dumb? No. Why he start chasing me around these people's house with a damn snake? I finally run in the bathroom and and lock the damn door. Like, he's he plays too damn much. That's what I didn't like about him. Like, you're being childish as hell. If I tell you I don't want to touch the snake or even look at it, why, why are you putting it in my face? Like, that snake was was everything but little the hell so y'all i finally come out the bathroom because he's banging on the bathroom door telling myself just come out the bathroom like you're being you're being a cry baby just come out the bathroom i'm like oh my god when is these people coming i'm ready to go this boy is he's annoying so i finally come out the bathroom he was like sit down on the couch watch tv with me i put the snake up so i came out the bathroom and i sat on the couch and i don't know like I don't know if he was feeling some type of way. I don't know if he, I don't know if he felt like he was losing me because he really was. He had already lost me. Okay. He lost me uh, the day I got off the plane, y'all. <laughs> he lost me when he bought the damn people up in my room, y'all. That's when he lost me. So 
I don't know, y'all. <laughs> so, like I said, we're sitting on the couch. I got my shoes off, and I'm just, you know, chilling. Y'all, tell me why he just starts... He just starts munching on me while we downstairs in these people's house. <laughs> oh, my God. Like, oh, damn. Oh, my God, y'all. I don't know why he started doing... Like, oh, my God. While this boy mama is upstairs, he starts munching on me. I'm like, what the? F okay, like, I just let him do it. You know, like, whatever. They upstairs. Ain't nobody down here but us. Go ahead, because this is be the last time you get to munch on me. Go go ahead and do it. So, yeah. Y'all. Oh, my God. So, yeah, he munched on me, and then that was it. Like, I didn't give him nothing. Never did. Never will. And we ain't. We ain't do none of that either. He just munched on me and that's what it was. And I'm like, okay, yeah. I'm still done with you. Think to myself, yeah, I'm still done with you, but whatever. So he was just like, you know, basically trying to be cool with me. I don't know if it's because he came to realize she's not going to deal with me no more after this because of, every, because of how I've been acting and because old girl across the street told her that I told her we were just friends. So yeah. I don't know but after that he was just like well are you trying to you want to go get something to eat i'm like yeah we can go get something to eat it's a place across the street i like to go get rasta pasta from i'm like okay cool we can go over there so we went over there and we went over there but the place was closed but it was like a chicken wing spot like right next door and it was open so we went up in there and he bought me some lemon pepper wings and some fries i don't even remember what he got but that's not important so we got our food we went back to the house and we just chilling like we just chilling drinking eating our food the mom she's still upstairs with her girlfriend and she ain't came back down nothing all right so we chilling in the house for a good hour like a good hour okay so out of nowhere somebody comes in the house and she looked like she's in her mid 40s um it's a black lady and this this girl she is she messed up y'all like she drunk as hell i guess i don't know she said she well i mean she said she was drunk i could tell she probably was because she was holding a wine glass full of wine but y'all this but this raggly this this raggly woman girl whatever comes in the house and she she thought she was finna press me or something i don't know like she came in the house and she looked me up and down she looked chris up and down and she gonna tell chris yeah i got a bone to pick with you you got me effed up and then he was like what are you talking about she was like yeah you got me messed up and who is you she's telling me like who is you i'm like it, it don't it don't matter who i am you don't know me i don't know you but yeah so she was just like like who is you uh, we beat bitches up around here. That's what she was telling me. She was like, we beat bitches up around here. And then I was like, okay, and I'm like asking Chris, who is this? And why is she trying to press me? Why, why is this bitch trying to press me? Like, you, you fuck with her? He was like, no, 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 I don't, no, it's, I don't mess with her, nothing like that. And she was just going off on Chris. She was like, yeah, I need to talk to you. I need to talk to you. I'm like, what the fuck? Okay, go talk to this bitch. Because she not finna be talking crazy to me because of because I'm with you. Can we beat bitches up? Yeah, we beat bitches up. Remember, y'all, I told y'all that my shoes was off because we was chilling and Chris was munching on me. So I took my shoes off. And then I started to put my shoes back on because, like, you know, if somebody was is talking crazy to you, talking about they beat bitches up, you want to be ready to fight. So y'all, I start putting my shoes back on and she gonna tell me what you what you taking your shoes off for. I said, bitch, I'm putting them back on. And she was like, oh, okay, okay, we'll come outside. So I said, okay. So I put on my shoes and I went outside. <laughs> tell me why after I went outside this bitch, she closed the door and locked it. I'm like, oh, I thought she wanted to fight. So she's just, I guess, going, and, going off on Chris for whatever reason. I don't know why, like... He act like he never dealt with this girl sexually or anything. Like, they've never had any type of involvement. They was just friends. But I don't know how true that is because Chris, he's just been lying these last couple of days. So, I really don't know how true that was. So, I'm outside thinking a bitch finna come outside and fight me. She just in the house going off on Chris. I don't know what the, the issue was. I don't know if it's because she was drunk. I, I don't know. So I'm outside. I'm like, damn, like, my phone is finna die. Like, I could just call my sister to come pick me up. 
because I've been outside for a good 20 minutes already and y'all like it's cold and shit I want to go back in the house I remember Dee's brother he had came like he he was coming in and out the house he didn't stay but we had you know I had met him or whatever but he had came up to me he put his arm around me he was like no you good like fuck her she ain't finna come outside and fight you I was like well I thought she was she told me to come outside I put my shoes on she said come outside but he was like fuck her she ain't nobody that girl up in there drunk as hell come on come back in the house so I went back in the house and then I had walked past her and sat right next to Chris and she was just in there talking shit as she was like she was standing by the door though but she was just saying how yeah that bitch that bitch sitting next to you she don't give a fuck about you this is and that I said girl please like that's this is my nigga like what is you saying she's like bitch fuck you I'm like bitch fuck you like I just went outside you didn't even come outside you told me to go outside you didn't even come outside like stop playing with me so she she ended up leaving or whatever I was just like what what the hell was that what was that telling Chris like what was that and he was like well I, I don't know what her issue is I think she was just drunk and then his mom she had came and she apologized to me because that was her friend and I'm like yeah I'm ready to go this whole trip is weird as hell but y'all it gets even weirder and I'm telling Chris like we we finna go because like I'm just we just sitting here I don't think y'all friends is coming back because it's getting late so we call a lift and then we catch a lift down to Wherever Chris's friends was, well, tell me why these these people went out to eat. They just left us behind. Like, they was just like, oh, well, like, we going to leave her with Chris because Chris is being drama. We ain't got time for that, which he was. Like, he was being so annoying. So, we had caught a lift to whatever restaurant they was eating at. And then, by the time we got there, they was already done. So, we just hopped in the car with them. And, like I said, it was late. Like, it was getting late. It was probably close to 10 o'clock. So, we were, we were all, everybody's already dressed. And we're just like let's just go to the club since everybody already dressed and we already outside oh y'all he was getting on my nerves because the whole time we in the car y'all the whole time we're in the car on our way to the club this man is saying he's licking his lips right and saying mm, i taste i taste coochie on my lip i'm like shut the fuck shut up and they like what no 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 then he'll just say Mm, I taste coochie on my lips. Like, I just wanted to slap the shit out of him. Because why are you trying to embarrass me? You want to tell everybody in the car how you was at your best friend's house eating my coochie on their couch while his mom and his girlfriend is upstairs? Like, you really want everybody to know that? <laughs> what the f- Oh, God, I'm so glad. Like, I- mm. Oh, he feels me off so bad. Like, what? what's wrong with you? Like, he just kept saying that the whole way- to the club what what's your point so we go to the club y'all damn we was over there all day now that i think about it, we was really over this man's friend house all damn day so y'all we went to the club okay i'm gonna add a clip i don't know if i mentioned it earlier i probably didn't i probably didn't mention it in the last story time either but one of these friends oh yeah i did mention her um the girl who i met after i said that chris had made me breakfast or whatever the, the girl i had met she was with us like she was with she came with, with us to the club so we went to the club it was me chris her and chris's three other friends we go into this club right and y'all so like I said, Chris, he's paying for everything. I'm just saying this because I got something to say about him paying for everything later on in the story, okay? So, yeah, Chris, he's paying for everything. And, well, everything of mine. I don't know about anybody else, but everything of mine. So, he paid for me to get in the club. He was um, buying me drinks, whatever. So, we in the club. We just, you know, I'm not doing too much because I know Chris is being weird. So... I mean, I'm sitting with old girl. She was buying hookah. You know, she buying her own drinks because the dude that she was with, Chris's other friend who drove us there, he sat in the car. Like, I guess in Atlanta, it's like a thing to steal people's car. It's a thing to steal their tires, their rims. I guess you just got to be with your car at all times so nothing will happen to it, basically. So, yeah, and it's All-Star Weekend 2. So, yeah, dude said, and he had a nice car, too. He had an all-black Lexus. It was clean as hell. He sat in the Lexus the whole time we was in the club. So, she's just in the club, you know, she just buying hookah, you know, buying her own drinks or whatever. 
and I'm saying that to, to reference something else later on in the story, okay? Y'all, so of course, Chris, he's in there acting a whole donkey ass. Like, he just doing the most. And y'all, I had a bottle of Hennessy before we had went to the club. Me and Chris, we, we took that down. And he's obviously a lightweight because he was he was fucked up and y'all like i don't drink but back then i drank a lot it really did nothing for me so i could just drink and just be cool you know but chris like he in there he fucked up and plus he he's buying drinks for me and him too at the same time like he's buying drinks for both of us the whole time we're in there so he already fucked up from the hennessy and then you're drinking more on top of that we go to the bar to order some drinks some more drinks and then while we're sitting in line, y'all, while we're sitting in line, like, Chris, he fucked up. He can barely stand up type shit. And he acting a fool, too, on top of that. And then there was this girl that was standing right beside him, I remember. Like, and I'm standing, like, um, maybe a, a couple feet behind him. Like, I'm not standing too close to him, but I got my eyes on him. And the girl that was standing on side of him, she was dancing. And I'm like, okay, if Chris tried me, even though I said I'm done with him, but... If Chris tried me in this club, I'm just going to take off on him. We could both. <laughs> like, I'm just going to take off on him at the club. Like, y'all, I wish y'all could see how I was standing. Like, I was like this with my hands, like, on the side of me. Because I'm like, if he tried me with this bitch that's sitting on the side of him, I'm going to take off on his ass. So, girl, she was just dancing and twerking. She's just laughing or whatever. But she's looking at me the whole time. I'm like, is she looking at me because she know that's my nigga? She probably just looking at me because she like me or something. Because she just, she looking at me the whole time. She's shaking that ass. So, I'm like, oh, uh, okay. Let me, you know, let me put my fist down. She ain't worried about Chris. She's worried about me. So, we go back over to our table. And then me and dude, we start arguing. So, I go sit by a girl that, you know, we gonna give her a name. Let's just call her... Tina so I was sitting by Tina you know she's she fucked up too you could tell I'm like girls you cool like she okay she just not even saying that bitch ain't even responding so I'm like oh yeah she she fucked up so I couldn't really have as much fun as I wanted to because Chris he just acted a fool like he didn't want me to do nothing he didn't even want me to smile in the damn club so Chris like he do he he just disappeared I'm like okay cool like I can start having some fun so I'm dancing you know um just having a good time drinking and i remember i was sitting down like after a while i just sat down and then chris's friend d he comes up beside me and we're just talking you know we just talking and he's just asking me questions about you know like where i'm from we just getting to know each other because this is this is bro at this point you know he's calling me sis this bro so he was just telling me you know that girl i came to the house with on the first day i got there that was him that was d that he was like, you know, that girl I came to the house where he just told me about her. And then he showed me, he pulls out his phone and he showed me a stripper. He was like, yeah, like this, this the bitch I'm, you know, I'm, I'm talking to this, this one I'm fucking with right here. So he's showing me his phone and I'm looking at it. I'm like, oh, okay, yeah, she, she cute. Yo, you a little bitch, she better, whatever. He was like, yeah, like I just started fucking with her. You know, she a little stripper or whatever and blah, blah, blah. Just, you know, tell me about the bitch or whatever. And y'all. So we talking, tell me why Chris, like, like I said, he was gone. He's known to do that. He's known to disappear like a goddamn genie or whatever and just reappear out of nowhere. So that's what he did. He just reappeared out of nowhere. He's been gone for a good 30 to 45 minutes, you know? So he just appeared in y'all. The way he ran up, I didn't even see or hear him running up. He just, I just look over and see somebody screaming. <laughs> Y'all, he started screaming at me and his friend D. Like, what what the fuck you doing? You trying to fuck with my bro? And then he's telling his friend D, he was like, That's my bitch. You trying to fuck with her? What is you doing? I y'all, I get up and I walk off because I'm like, I ain't got time for this shit. So y'all, I look back, D and Chris, they're arguing. Like, I can low-key hear what they're saying, but they're arguing basically because he thinks that D is trying to holler at me. He was just saying, oh, because I'm gone, you found the perfect time to come talk to Key. He was like, basically just saying no, like it wasn't even like that. I'm showing her my bitch on my phone. And I can hear D telling Chris, that's sis, that's sis. Like, why the fuck would I do that? That's sis. I'm showing her my bitch. And they just argue and I'm just like, mm. yeah, tomorrow, where's you at? Because I'm ready to go. So y'all, okay, Chris, 
after the argument i don't know what possessed him to do that but he just he just start i see him like he walks off like chris i see chris he walks off and then he's hopping on the table like he's dancing he's making a fucking fool out of himself y'all he embarrassed me so bad because like he's jumping on these people's table he's all in different people's sections drinking they fucking drink just doing the most and I'm surprised ain't nobody whoop his ass in the club because you don't do no shit like that. You don't do no shit like that. Like, first of all, people is paying for their bottles in their section. You gonna walk your ass in their section and start drinking from their bottle? Like, is you for real? So all that Chris was doing in the club got him kicked out. And I was like, yes, finally. Like, they kicked Chris out. I can have fun and enjoy myself. I started to have a good time. Again, I'm dancing, you know. He had ordered me some drinks, so I'm just still sipping on those. And I'm having a good time for at least... Mm, that lasted all about three minutes. I ain't even gonna lie. That only lasted about three minutes. Because D walks over to me. And he says, Hey, sis, bro wants you outside. I'm like, what the fuck? No. 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 He was like, well, I mean, you know, just go go check on bro. You know, he drunk or whatever. Just go outside with him. He keep asking for me to come get you. Can you just go outside with bro? Y'all, I'm like, fuck. All right, yeah, I'll go outside. Only because you asked me to go outside with him. So I go outside with Chris and like he's sloppy drunk. Like he just, just mumbling shit to himself. He not even making full complete sentences and he's not making any sense y'all he's not making no sense he's just walking in circles yeah 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 i honestly forgot what he was saying but it didn't matter no way because it made no damn sense so i'm like this oh like why oh i hate being around people who cannot control your liquor like you as a man should at least be able to control your liquor like why why even drink if you cannot handle yourself i shouldn't have to come outside and babysit you because you get sloppy junk and don't know what to do with yourself like you see me i done junked the bottle of hennessy with you and i'm cool like you just uh like he just oh got on my fucking nerves Y'all had to be there to know. Y'all, y'all had to be there to know. This man was so damn annoying. Like, I was over him. He gets kicked out the club and, like, his other friends came out. And they was just like, well, let's go. Since bro can't come back in the club, we just gonna go. So, y'all, it's probably almost 2 in the morning. It's almost 2 in the morning. And I'm ready to go anyways because, you know, it's been a long day and I'm tired. And I gotta get on the plane early as hell in the morning. We're all trying to get Chris in the car. Like, Chris is just roaming around the parking lot. The police already done told his ass, hey, you got to get out the property. They done already told him twice. They was like, if we got to come talk to you again, we just going to take your ass to jail. So we're all trying to get Chris in the car. So he he don't want to go in the car. He keeps talking about he's going to go. He keeps saying, oh, I'm going to go to Army Girl's house. I'm going to go over there. I don't want to get in the car. I'm going to go to Army Girl's house. I'm like, who the fuck is Army Girl? I said, D, who the fuck is that? He was like, oh, no, that's just a homie, sis. You ain't got to worry. Shit, I ain't worried no way. But I'm like, who the fuck is that? And why he want to go to her house so damn bad? So he just, no, I'm not getting in the car. I'm not getting in the car. I'm going to go to Army Girl's house. I mean, y'all, his friend, D, he grabs. He was like, get in the motherfucking car. If you don't get in the car, I'm going to. Yeah, that's what he told him, y'all. Oh, hell no. This nigga crazy. So I'm like, can you please just get in the car? Like, please, like. Can you just get in the car? I don't want your friend to start. Because <laughs> at this point, I'm scared. <laughs> like, he's talking about what? He said, like, you ain't saying you're going to beat his ass. You said you're going <laughs> to. Please get in the car. That's how I broke my nail. Because I'm trying to grab Chris and put him in the car. I'm like, get in the car. Like, please just get in the car. That's how I ended up breaking my nail. Because of his dumb ass. And then, y'all, why he going to tell me? Before I even him saying Atlanta, why he going to tell me? Because, you know, he knew I was getting my nails, my hair done, and shit like that. So, he asked to see my nails. I sent him a picture of my nails. He gonna say, why you get your nails done that long? Like, who is you, my father? The fuck? Like, he just, uh, he got on my fucking nerves. But anyways, back to the story. Yeah, so, we're trying to get dumbass in the car. He just would not get in the car. And then his friend, he was just like, you know, I'm tired of this shit. Y'all, tell me why, dude, pull out his, it started in the air. I'm like, this nigga crazy. Reminds y'all, it's police over there too. I mean, like, we're in another parking lot. By then, like, we're not even on the property no more. But still, it's police around. Why would you start it in the air? Why would you Why would you do that? 
we couldn't get old dumb ass Chris in the car, so we leave him. And I'm not finna stay with him and get left. I don't know why I ran around and he's drunk as hell. He can't do nothing for me at this point. I'm leaving too. I, I know some people in the comments might say I'm wrong, but hey, I had an early flight to catch in the morning and he wasn't trying to get in the car. What was I supposed to do? There's nothing I could do for dude. He said he had somewhere to go. So that's his business. He had a ride back to the Airbnb, but he didn't want to go with us. He wanted to go to Army Girl's house. He gets left and y'all, I have his whole bag. Like he, he wore one of those bags like those messenger bags you know them bags that dudes be wearing he be wearing one of those bags and he had his phone his charger his card everything and this boy had nothing on him no money nothing i know he didn't because he don't keep money and shit in his pockets he puts everything in this damn bag so i'm like damn like i got chris bag like what is he gonna do and then his friend was just like, he'll find his way. You know, that's a grown man. He'll find his way. I'm like, are you sure? Maybe we should turn. He's like, no, we're not turning back around. We already trying to get this man in the car. He wouldn't get in the car. And it's getting late. We tired. So I'm like, okay, well, whatever. I have to get on my flight around 7. No, around 6, actually. Early in the morning. So I probably got like an hour or two to sleep. Like, my stuff is already packed. I have planned on going back to the Airbnb and just taking a quick little nap or whatever and catching my flight so we get back to the house and then i'm just like damn like i'm worried about him he's just out there and then his friend d he good trust me he good i guess maybe chris does this all the time because he was just like no he's good trust me he's good so i'm just laying there you know talking to d d was just telling me how the girl who was with the other friend she was there at the house too but they were in another room sleep she was telling him like oh yeah chris don't give a fuck about her she didn't even know me or chris but she, yeah chris don't give a fuck about her look how he just be leaving her this is not but i'm like okay like if she's speaking up on me but your nigga outside he ain't even in the club with you he outside sitting in the car sleep while you in the club spending your own goddamn money yeah, Chris might not give a fuck about me, but best believe I'm going to get some dollars out this nigga. And I already know you're spending your money because you're talking about you got to pay rent, but you in here spending your money in the club. Make it make sense. You're buying hookah. You have to pay to get in the club. You ain't buying drinks. But you're telling me Chris don't give a fuck about me. At least I ain't spending my own money. But yeah, she just pissed me off with that. People always got something to say about the next. Like, worry about your own situation because obviously, dude, don't give a fuck about you. And Chris told me, like, that's not even his bitch. He just be fucking with her from time to time. The friend got a whole family at home. He's not even worried about old girl like that. So she definitely needs to mind her damn business. I ended up falling asleep, y'all, and I had set my alarm for. Uh, did I say no? I had to be there at six. I think my flight didn't leave till like around seven, but I had to be there at six so i set my my alarm clock for five in the morning y'all so y'all as i'm getting up to get dressed like i had tried to go in the bathroom to um to get ready but chris's friend was in there taking a number two and i'm like damn so i went back and sat on the bed because both bathrooms were you know people were using both bathrooms so i'm like okay i'll just wait tell me why i'm sitting on the bed and i'm waiting for one of the bathrooms i hear banging on the front door somebody's banging on the front door like the police like they're but they're knocking fast or like hella fast and y'all tell me why it's chris y'all he run upstairs he calls in the scene waking everybody up he first he went in the room where his friends was i guess to get them up so he can uh cause the scene and let them know what he what he was about to do to me so yeah he woke them up and then came into the to my room and he's all in my face screaming at me talking about i left him outside I'm like, bitch, I ain't leave you outside. You the one who said you were going to Army Girl's house. So he was like, no, but you left me. I don't have my phone. And I'm like, how the fuck you get here anyways? Like, what the fuck? <laughs> was you a Power Ranger or something? Like, how did you get here? Because <laughs> we left you in the woods somewhere. No, I'm just saying. We didn't leave him in the woods. But I mean, it was some woods on the side of the prop the parking lot we was at. So how the fuck, how the fuck did you get here? And you didn't have no phone, nothing. Like, how did you get here? So y'all, he all in my face talking shit. I'm like, boy, like, get the fuck out of my face. Get out of my face. I don't give a fuck about nothing you talking about. I don't care. Why he grabbed my suitcase and he opened it and threw all my clothes over the stairs. I'm like, is he fucking for real? 
He's like, yeah, since you want to leave me outside by myself, this, this, and that. I said, bitch, first of all, I ain't the one who left you. I don't have no car. You you got left because your stupid ass wouldn't get in the car. You said you were going to Army Girl's house. That ain't got shit to do with me. You're a grown-ass man. So, y'all, he threw my shit over the damn stairs. So, I'm like, oh, my God. I just woke up. I ain't even put my glasses on yet, y'all. So, I don't have my glasses on yet. I ran downstairs and tried to get my shit backpacked into my my suitcase because like i said i have to go to the airport i have to be there at six i'm downstairs picking up my stuff like i'm putting my stuff in my suitcase right and then i'm still arguing with him like he didn't came downstairs too y'all so i'm putting my shit in my suitcase why he come downstairs he had a bottle of water why he throw that shit in my face his friend was like you wrong for that like what 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 are you doing like why is you starting shit with her she didn't even leave you at the club so-and-so left you and your ass wouldn't get in the car no way so you taking that on her the fuck you's a real bitch ass nigga which he was so y'all i'm like oh my god he just threw water in my face he's trying to make me miss my flight i'm arguing with him but i'm not doing too much and i'm just putting my shit back in my suitcase and then i changed my clothes right where i was like downstairs because everybody's upstairs but him i just put on my clothes or whatever so we still like low-key arguing like he's really going in on me but i'm not doing too much i'm just saying like little shit here and there but i'm not doing too much because i don't give a fuck like i said i'm done with dude so i go back upstairs to get my glasses because i leave I always leave my glasses right on the side of my pillow when i go to sleep so i knew they were there and y'all uh, so i don't see my glasses on the side of the pillow so I look behind the bed and then I look under the bed. I look on the side of the bed. I'm like, okay, my glasses are not there. So I thought to myself, Chris took my glasses because he's being petty. And y'all, by, by this time, I'm mad because I don't play about my glasses. I cannot see without my glasses. So y'all, some just switched on. I said, bitch, where the fuck is my glasses? Like I said, I'm mad now. You don't play with my vision. And he's like, I don't have your glasses. I said, bitch, my glasses are right here by my pillow. I always leave my glasses by my pillow. Like, I'm going in on him. And then he started talking shit to me. Like, yeah, you could call whoever you want. This is not. I said, bitch, bring your ass back to Arizona. And somebody going to beat your motherfucking ass. Like, I'm mad, y'all. Like, uh, when I get real mad, I like, just switch on. I, I was going in on him. So I'm opening all his shit. Like he has some of his clothes over, like in some bags. I'm opening his shit. I'm dumping out Remember all. Remember how I said he had this messenger bag? I opened his messenger bag. I just dump everything out. I'm dumping out his shit. And y'all, he had a whole bunch of change in there. I'm like, what the fuck? He collecting? He collecting coins now? What the fuck? But y'all, anyways, so I dumped out. <laughs> I dumped out his shit and I don't see my glasses in there but he catches me dumping out his shit and he snatches he's like what are you doing I said where are my glasses at y'all tell me why he picked up a whole bunch of a change and threw it in my face from him throwing that change in my face I had a scar I think it was either on my nose or my forehead I can't remember but I had like a little scar on my face from that shit and that's weird but yeah so when he y'all when he threw that change in my face I grabbed a bottle of water I opened it and I like threw the water on him and then it was a hand sanitizer bottle sitting on top of the um the counter i grabbed that too and i just boom just i chunked that shit out hit him in the face with it because what the fuck are you doing like why is you throwing shit in my face i just took it like he just hit me in my face when he threw that change in my face so yeah i threw some water on him and i had grabbed that sanitizer bottle and i hit him in the face with it so we arguing i'm telling him i'm finna have somebody beat his ass I know people thinking like, damn, his homies really let him do that to you. Yeah, like, not really. Like, his friend D, he was talking shit about him, you know, throwing water on me and throwing the change in my face. Like, they was arguing. They, like, low-key got into it. D was all up in Chris's face. Like, Chris, I don't know. Chris, Chris is giving punk. Like, Chris is really giving bitch-ass nigga. Chris was giving scary-ass nigga. Because every time D got in his face, he just, you know, would back down. And I'm like, yeah, you scary as fuck like you doing all this shit to me but as soon as the nigga get in your face you don't want no problems so yeah i was almost about to miss my flight and yeah chris's friend with the car he was just like we gotta hurry up and go for you miss your flight so i'm like yeah i mean i don't know what i'm gonna do because i need my glasses so we leave he takes me to the airport we exchange numbers or whatever and 
y'all i tried my best to get through this airport because like i said literally this is going to be my only second time from when i was a child like i flew a lot when i was a child from what my parents told me but me being an adult this is going to be my second time on the flight so i really didn't know what to do like i had to figure everything out while blind like i was literally blind up in that damn airport i cannot see for shit i'm blind as hell i get back on my flight to home and yes i'm without my glasses but y'all so you know how you can't use your phone on the plane you can't use your phone on the plane so when i landed i turned my phone back on and i'm getting all these text messages so i'm getting all these text messages and i'm gonna post the text i'm gonna post the text i get a text from chris's mom right i already know that this is chris because for one how would she get my phone number I don't even think homegirl even remembers my name. So how would she give my phone number? Like, why would you ask me out of all people what happened to your son? You live right next to his best friend. Go ask him. Like, that's how I know it wasn't him. It was the damn text app. Because when I got off the plane, I called the number and they didn't answer. So when it went to the voicemail, it turned out to be a, a text app. I'm like, yeah, this is this is Chris's dumbass. Like, oh, you're so weird. You did all that just to text me and act like you got shot. What the hell? That was so weird to me. So I get text messages from Chris as um, you know, leaving out the airport and he's just saying, Hey, hey, call me, hey. And so I wasn't gonna call him because I'm like I said, I'm done with him. But he starts calling me and I'm not answering the phone and he's blowing up my phone. I was just like, what the fuck you want? He was just telling me, oh, I'm sorry about everything that happened. Um, I just want you to know I never took your glasses. I don't know what happened to them. Blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, whatever. You showed your whole ass. You embarrassed the fuck out of me. And you, you wasn't claiming me. You, you try to make it seem like the old girl that we're just friends. And you know what for that i'm not gonna deal with you no more i i hope you have a nice life and i don't know why your dumb ass even made a text app to make it seem like you got shot like you're almost 40 years old why is you even playing them type of games you're childish as hell he was like no that wasn't me that was really my mom i said you and i both know that i'm not stupid that was your slow ass so yeah we argued about how that wasn't him texting me from a text app number which we both know it was who else would it be? That was clearly not your mama. But yeah. So after that, yes, y'all, I did talk to Chris again only because he took me to Vegas for my birthday, y'all. And that's a whole nother story itself. After that, yeah, that trip, it wasn't as bad as Atlanta. I just didn't want to deal with dude no more after that. That's it for this story. But if you haven't already, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. Share this story, y'all. Thank y'all so much for watching.